In my last video, I talked about the most common mistake that people make in Irish, which is leaving Sheena Fathers out when they're writing in Irish. And I talked about the solutions to that. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the next biggest category of mistakes that people make. And of course, I'm getting these categorizations from the analytics and the statistics I'm collecting in my new online Irish grammar and spelling checker um, called Gwailgram, because for the first time I've been able to at uh, real world level, analytics level, actually track mistakes that people are making when they're writing in Irish in a totally anonymized way, um, but I am able to see what types of mistakes uh, people are making. So as I mentioned, Sheena Fathers is the biggest, you know, it doesn't matter what level of uh, Irish fluency you have, you're going to leave a Sheena Father out sometime. So that's the biggest category of mistake. And I talked about uh, solutions to um, how to avoid those mistakes uh, in, in my other video. In this video, I'm going to talk about the next biggest category, which is shavus and urus. So the changes at the beginning of words. And we're all guilty of, of this. It's very hard to be sure where a shavu goes and where an uru goes, whether you're learning Irish or a fluent Irish speaker or uh, a, a native speaker as well. And the key thing about the shavus and urus is he, for me, and the key piece of advice I'd give is that you have to use an online tool to help you learn that. So it's okay to learn the theory from a book or from a grammar book, but for me, it's really about using the online tools that are available now and are being updated regularly every few months that help us actually see how these rules work in practice in the type of writing um, that we are doing. So the first tool I'm going to mention is uh, Tanglen, uh, tanglen.ie, and specifically the Grammar Wizard and three Grammar D or, or Tanglin.ie. And this is an amazing tool where you can go in and you can pick from a list the elements that you're trying to put together. So the, the words that you're trying to put together, the, the preposition and the, the noun and things like that. And then you can actually just wait and the Grammar Wizard within a few, couple of seconds will tell you where the shavu or where the uru goes um, in that particular combination of words that you yourself are about to write. So really handy, practical uh, information on what the correct form would be. So tangling.ie, the grammar wizard, that would be the number one place I'd recommend going for help with shavus and urus. And they've recently just updated it as well. So it's an amazing resource and I highly recommend it. Of course, Folklore.ie is perhaps a better known website, uh, but it has lots of secret, what I call them secret, they're hidden features because the user interface uh, is good, but it's not entirely intuitive. But the amazing thing about Folklore.ie is how powerful it is when you start clicking on, on, on things that don't look like they should be clicked on, if I could put it like that. Uh, so for example, when you look up a word on folklore.ie, it'll often beside the word, uh, beside the noun, show the letters M-A-S-C for masculine or F-E-M for feminine. So that's grand, looks very much like a dictionary. But the amazing thing is when you actually click on those letters, which don't look like they should be clicked on, the M-A-S-C or the F-E-M, a little window will pop up, a surprisingly little uh, powerful window will pop up which will actually show you you know how that word should look with the with on in front of it for example so official analog so it, it'll show you you know where the shavu goes or if there's a shavu uh, relevant for that particular word in the in the official analog so it actually shows you the uh the, the usage of that word and Tisha Ginnick is in, is in there, but I'm not going to cover that that today. So it's amazing how using these two tools together, uh, Tanglin for almost helping you build your sentence, and then Folklore for looking up a specific word, how quickly you can actually start to write with much more confidence about where the shavu uh, goes or where the uru goes. Because we've all been guilty of kind of, when in doubt, putting a shavu in or <laughs> putting an uru in just in case. Uh, but these tools will actually show you where they should go. And they'll show you very quickly. 
where they should go. So what I do when I'm writing in Irish is I have a couple of tabs open in my web browser. So I'd have Tangren open with the Gram D and I'd have Pukdor open as well. And then I just go back and forth between the tabs to very quickly check if the spelling is, um, or if the, the Shevu or the Uru goes, goes where I think it should. And there's also uh, my own tool called Gwailgram, which I should mention because that is an online uh, Irish spelling and grammar checker, and it's particularly powerful at picking up where shavus and urus uh, should go. So what you do is you, you copy and paste your uh, your sentence or your, your, your entire document into Gwailgram, you hit the check button, and then for a couple of seconds, it churns through thousands of, of grammar rules and will identify um, not just where, where a shavu has been left out, but it will actually suggest an automatic correction for putting the shavu back in in most cases and just with one click it puts the shavu in for you or, or the same with an, with an uru as as well so these tools taken together so tanglin and folklore and Vailgram, they actually mean that we can now pretty much for one of the first times <laughs> in, in about 20 years of online uh, and software tool development write in irish with so much more confidence because you know, it, it can be a little bit daunting sending something out when you're not sure if the shavus are right or the urus are right. But if you do use these tools, you can be very sure that they're in the right place. And that means that you're not going to get someone correcting you. And that's liberating. You know, uh, it's it's amazing. Even for me as a, as a native Irish speaker, it's just wonderful to be able these days to send something out that I haven't asked uh, someone else to check. So, Grafeda Bruddy Alshu is a Kurumach, a Rifus, a Rijadin, as Ganavet Borha, a Gul Botu, and a Bonusach El, Martin Maitreish. No, who did she show her fat? Who is side? I guess Nigal and Keshtekar, their their Hanoli, Motherless Rudy show. So it's incredibly liberating um, to to do that, and uh, I'd encourage you to use those tools, Tanglin and uh, Booklore in particular. And of course, uh, you're you're welcome to try out Gwailgram. There's a free trial uh, available for Gwailgram uh, as well at Gwailgram.ie, um, and then. In my next video, I'm going to talk about perhaps one of the most challenging categories of uh, mistakes um, that we make. And I was actually surprised to see how prominent this was in, in the statistics. Um, it's the Kaidan. It's the standard form of Irish. It's going from the Irish that we speak at home to the Irish that we speak in school or in the workplace. And it's finding out, well, how do we actually write in standard Irish without reading <laughs> all the documentation around it. How do we go from the theory to the practice? How do we make that easy? How do we make that effortless? And I've got some recommendations uh, coming up in my next video uh, about that. So I'll be tackling the kite on in the next video. So um, looking forward to talking to you about that. And in the meantime, Kerr Pian Lepor, August Mayor Le Merchlor. Slán.